this, this, is, this is God's will for us. Let's break it down in family. There are a lot of issues that happen. And I'm telling you, the enemy gets involved in it in a way if we don't recognize it. See, that's why you stay in prayer. Stay in prayer. God help us to see things. I close with this. I was uh, in a conversation with one of my brothers this was years ago, and uh, we, we were in a disagreement. And, and my response at that particular time was this. You, you see that it should go this way. I see that it should go another way. Perhaps someday, it's a true story, perhaps someday we'll be able to do it that way. Or once the Lord releases you, you'll be able to do it the way that, that's in your heart. With, with another group but right now it wasn't Chris but right now in fact it was my brother who's with the Lord now I said but right now this is what I sense God wants us to do and I said I'm not saying that you're completely wrong I'm just saying right now as the leader this is what I believe God really wants us to do and, and I, I said this <clears throat> The day could come when what you're doing will far exceed what I'm trying to do here. That would be fine. But for now, this is what I sense God would have us to do. Three or four years later, I discovered that we were really, we were really having a hard time in our relationship. And it stemmed from a lot of other things, but this became a major component of it. And he felt such rejection and so many other things like that. And I got frustrated. My parents were living over here in Shenandoah at the time, 4200 block. And I was staying with them, and uh, I came to the Lord in prayer. I said, God, I don't get this. What is the problem? I got on my face and began to pray, and as the Holy Spirit helped me to pray, even in the place of other tongues, the Lord showed me what looked like a little video. He took me back to that conversation. We were in the state of Florida at the time. I was getting ready to go minister somewhere. And uh, we were sitting, and I remember the conversation. And I saw myself, and I heard myself say the words that I was speaking to you, just sharing with you. Those words left my mouth. God showed it to me, so I don't have to make this up. Those words left my mouth like crystal clear water. Because I, I, I thought maybe it was the way I said it. And when those words left my mouth, it was like a stream of crystal clear water. Then I saw a wind come over, those, come over that water. And that water calcified and became darts and daggers. And ran right into his heart. And I saw it pierce his heart and... He was bleeding. And I said, but God, that wasn't, he finished it. He said, I know it wasn't you. The enemy colored those words and drove it like a dagger in his heart. He said, I want you to apologize for two things. I said, sir, he said, I want you to go apologize to him for not coming to him sooner. And I want you to apologize and repent before him for not giving this matter greater prayer before this time because the damage is great now. I said, but God, I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. He said, I want you to go and apologize and repent before him for the two reasons I gave you. And God was through with the conversation. And so I went and I shared with Mark the dream, that vision type dream that I just had in prayer. And he dropped his head and he said, that's true, Ray. I felt like that for years. So I apologize for the two reasons that God told me to come and apologize. You know, some offenses have gone on and on and on and on and on and on because
because there's been a refusal to even pray about what you knew in a seedling form was a problem. You just went on. Be free, liberate.